Hi and welcome to this uh, introductory tutorial on uh, financial mathematics in Microsoft Excel. So uh, in this video we are going to show you the Excel PMT function that is a financial function that return the uh, periodic payment for a loan. So you can use a uh, NPER function to figure out uh, payment for a loan given a uh, loan amount, number of period and interest rate. So the purpose of the uh, PMT function is to get a periodic payment for a loan. So uh, the function return a loan payment as a number. So uh, the PMI, PMT uh, function can be used to figure out uh, the future payment for a loan, assuming a constant payment uh, and a constant interest rate. For example, we have a uh, loan of uh, $5,000 and the number of payment is, for example, uh, uh, 60 payment. So uh, corresponding to five year uh, five year period. So we have a and select shows the arbitrary interest rate of 11% and a periodic payment uh, is the value that uh, we are going to, uh, to calculate. So to, uh, to get a uh, periodic uh, payment, you just need to go in formulas. So when you are in formula, you go on uh, this uh, function symbol and click on uh, insert function. So among the function, you can uh, go on this tab and select the uh, financial function one. So uh, to compute the PMI function, you just need to search for PMT, uh, PMT function. Here is it. You select PMT function. So the interest rate is here. So be uh, pay attention because uh, the payment is uh, monthly so uh, we'll divide the interest rate by uh, 12 because we here have 12 months so the number of uh, payment is uh, is an argument that uh, calculate the payment for a loan based on the constant uh, payment and the constant interest rate so the number of payment is uh, 16 so we have 16 here we have this argument PV is uh, that calculated a payment for loan based on the constant payment loan so uh, PV is a present value uh, the total amount that the series of future payment is uh, worth now so the PV is uh, the amount of $5,000 so we select $5,000 a month. So we have a FD uh, argument, which is the future value or a cash balance can uh, you want to uh, attend after the last payment. So uh, zero is uh, if you have to uh, have zero at the end of it. So you put zero in this, uh, in this uh, section. So uh, the type is a logical value payment at the beginning of the period equal one if a payment at the end of the period is uh, zero. So you put uh, one if you want a payment at the end of the period to be equal to zero. So then we click on OK and can see that uh, uh, our function return a negative value so that uh, we should just uh, precede our function by the negative sign so that we can have a, uh, a payment, a periodic payment of uh, 107 one, uh, 72 uh, zero so uh, by default my uh, excel is uh, uh, program to be uh, return a value in euro so i will go on my on go home go on uh, 
this section to select the number format and go to uh, uh, custom so uh, go to uh, number and select custom and put uh, here uh, in this uh, section change this uh, I will select the uh, or I will go on currency I will go uh, rather on currency and choose the symbol uh, dollar for uh, For the United States, so uh, Korean uh, and United States, so and then I click on OK, and you can see that the uh, payment, uh, periodic payment, is set is in uh, US dollar one hundred and one hundred seven point seventy two uh, dollar per month for a five thousand loan in five year period. So that's it for this uh, tutorial and we hope it has very well helped you understand how to, uh, to compute the uh, e to use EMT function in order to calculate periodic payment for a given loan.